Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a budget way to do the new Spirit of Medine fight or the Vision of Medine and get all missions as well as all the special clears for your necklace. So to start off, to get there, you're going to start at King Mog and we're going to exit the palace and the far plane. You've got to unlock the battle the first time ever going here. Outside the castle, we're going to head to the right. And we're going to come to this newly unlocked tower to the right side of King Mog. Now the first time you get here, the little Mughal will talk to you. Then he's going to let you inside. And you're going to see Medine. You're going to go fight him. The first time you fight him, you're going to go directly to easy mode. You can kill him with, that, with whatever you want. Then we're going to go back and we're going to do it on hard mode. Now you need to kill this boss with eight different parties using elemental teams regardless of what version of Medin we fight it's always got to be hard mode but regardless of which version you activate in the battle what matters is your party so you need to go ahead and go to the party menu and you need to filter your party by the elemental category you need to do a clear with only fire units on the party then you need to do another clear with only ice units on the party etc etc all the way through the eight elements and that'll give you all the missions and all the materials to get the final necklace so we're going to be doing a water team because in my opinion water is probably the hardest um, just because uh, it's a headache and i'm going to be showing you the super easy way to basically cheese the fight if you want to see me do all eight clears with regular teams, I did that on live streaming earlier today. You can look at the replay of the live stream video. It's very, very long because it took forever. Um, I'm not going to record all eight parties again, but I did use seven regular party clears. And we actually used the cheese for water because water is the hardest, it seems like. But I'm going to demonstrate the cheese mode, which, uh, which you can use for all eight parties. This works for all the parties. But we're going to do it with water. So some things we're going to need. First of all, we're going to need a way to deal earth damage on turn one to activate the earth medine. And again, the medine we fight <clears throat> doesn't matter. All that matters is your party. So even though we're going to fight the earth medine on every single clear, we're going to get credit depending on the party we take. This is going to be a water clear. So to deal earth damage, we've got Tifa on, um, on Titan for the stone spell. Uh, we're going to need a magical tank. Now, water is probably the hardest because there's no Neo magical tanks, only Biggs and Wedge on 7 star. Uh, your magical tank wants 350 earth resist <coughs> and then 100 to everything else, which we have. Uh, we're also going to want some units, a, or one unit on Carbuncle. Doesn't matter who, but someone's got to be on Carbuncle for AoE Reflect. We're going to use Shui Yi just because she's a water unit, and she's going to use Thousand Needles as well. We're going to use Cacteria as our Provoker, Passive Provoke, and again, she's a water unit, some Esper Fill. And we need, also we gave her Guts, and we're going to need three different units using Sword of Kings or the Nethesite Materia. I'm choosing Sword of Kings because it's a permanent item. You can also use the limited Nethesite Materia. <clears throat> but we need three different units, not counting the unit on Carbuncle. So not the Carbuncle unit, three units not on Carbuncle using either Sword of Kings or Nethesite Materia. This is Ash's STMR. You can unit of choice her if you need more of her. Uh, we're going to use someone to kill the boss. Now, the boss is going to be very easy to kill as long as you're using um, this strategy. And Kaito is going to be our killer because he's a water unit. We've geared him in very, very budget gear, and his LB is non-elemental. Very important. We are not using elemental damage here. So, uh, here we go. So, just, you know... Uh, the boss is a beast, and the little uh, crystals are fairies, or spirits. Very, very cheap gear. In his shift form, another Sword of Kings, a little bit of Esperfil. And then Avalanche Tifa, another Sword of Kings, a little bit of Esperfil, and um, that's kind of it. And the only reason we're choosing her is because she can AoE non-elemental chain with, um, with Chi Trap, the chain with uh, Kaito. And that's going to be our clear, and I'll explain the way we're going to be doing it as we get in here. So we're going to go to hard mode. 
Now, the friend also matters. Grab a friend of the proper elemental tag. So no KOs, 15 or less, no continues. We're gonna grab a friend right here. And this is the party we're gonna be going with. And actually, we're gonna give our provoker a little bit of dodge. Um, I actually forgot about this doing this earlier. So we'll do Sea Dragon and run away. Cause actually there's a chance that something hits her. So there we go. There we go, our provoker now is 100% dodge. So here's the party we're gonna go with and I'll explain the way we're gonna do it. So on turn one, the boss is in his like waiting moment. So you can't hurt the boss on turn one. He's got 99% mitigation. Depending on the element you hit him with is the version of the fight it turns on. We're gonna hit the boss with earth damage to turn on um, to turn on earth mode. And oh, that's the friend. Never mind. Here we go. My Tifa. So we're gonna use just Stonera just for some earth damage to activate earth mode. Um, and then Biggs and Wedge. We can just cast Reraise from Phoenix as a safety precaution. You shouldn't actually need it. And we're going to just guard the rest of the party. And because we used earth damage, it activates earth mode. Uh, breaking the boss and all doesn't really matter. So there we go. Now earth mode has been activated and these crystals have been summoned. So on this turn, we're going to just use a bunch of Nethysite. Now we're already auto covering magic with Biggs and Wedge. So, you know, you, can, you don't need to do anything with them. So we're going to just use Nethysite on three different units. Remember Tifa, uh, Cacteria, etc. They're all using Nethysite materials. Uh, we'll do that. We're going to use Thousand Needles with Shui Yi. And we can just guard the other two. Doesn't really matter. Do whatever you want. Um, and there we go. So we might guts on Cacteria, but the elemental damage will be resisted by our Biggs and Wedge, etc. Because remember, he has 100% to all resistances and 350 Earth Resist. So even though the boss used a 250 Earth in Peril, we're still immune even with that because he had 350 Earth Resist. Now on turn three, the boss is going to use three different AOE black magic spells, and then he's gonna use an AOE 100% defense and spirit break. So that can be reflectable. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna again on turn three, we're gonna Nethysite our three units with uh, Sword of Kings. Then we're gonna use Carbuncle to AOE reflect the party and other two units can just guard so we don't mess anything up. This is now going to Nethysite the three black magic spells so they don't eat our reflect. And the fourth spell is gonna be the AOE 100% defense and spirit break. And it's gonna bounce back onto the enemies. Now we need it to bounce onto both of the targets. It's gonna be an AOE six reflect. There is like a one in a thousand chance all six copies bounce to the same target. If that happens, well, bad luck, do the fight again. It'll almost never happen. They should almost always be both broken. So here we go, and there it is. So it bounced all the breaks back to the enemies. And it looks like, you've got, you've got to be kidding me, it looks like we literally have the one in a billion chance that it didn't target, it didn't break this guy. What do you, all six copies bounce back to him. Notice up here he's got a negative 100% defense and spirit break, and this one it did not bounce. I'm going to have to rerun the fight, and I'll see you in just a second, because it, I cannot believe. What are the chances all six copies bounce to the same target? It's a 50% chance six times in a row. What are the odds of that? Oh my god. I have never, ever, even on the JP server, seen that happen. And of course, because I'm recording, it happens. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get back to turn turn three. See you in a second. All right, guys, I've rerun the fight. Here we go again. We're going to net the site three times, and we're going to Carbuncle, and we're going <laughs> to we're going to hope it doesn't hope that doesn't happen twice in a row. So both of them should get uh, broken this time. Yeah, of course they did. Like I've never seen that happen before, ever, ever, ever. Anyway. Now you look there, both of them, 100, um, negative 100 defense and spirit broken. So now on this turn, we can kill the enemies. So with a 100% defense break, even though they're mitigating with 90% mitigation, it's not going to matter. So we'll just use um, Cacteria on Fenrir to do uh, bravery for an attack buff. 
We'll go to the base form with Kaito in base form LB. We'll use Tifa to triple bolting strike. And these are non-elemental. And we'll just chain these together. And this will deal because the boss has a 100% defense break. That should kill the boss. There we go. That was a that was a clear, and that gave us crit look, 99 billion damage. Yeah, damage cap. So that is how you cheese the boss. Just make sure that the all six copies of the, the defense break don't bounce to the same target. I I'm I am still blown away that that happened. Um and yeah, there you go. So our naked Tifa, who is literally naked, did one 32 billion damage. I can't believe it's more that she literally did more than more than Kaito. But um, there it is. So that was the perfect score. And now you would just go and do it again. You would do it eight times. And the next time you would just build a new party. You do the exact same thing. So for example, I'll just build an example. We're not going to do it. I'm going to do a real quick example. So for a, you know, a wind party. You would just, you know, stick some random units. You would stick someone that can do an AUE chain. So six wind units. Um, you don't need a breaker because the boss is going to break for you. Uh, you do need someone to non-elemental chain. That would be our Zidane. He could chain for us. And you need a, a magic tank. So that would be uh, Sacred Charlotte. Or if you don't have Sacred Charlotte, use a seven-star wind tank. I don't know who that would be, but someone. And there you go. And you would do the same thing. You would go in here with this party. You would bring a friend... Um, wind unit and do the same thing. So you gear your tank and 350 earth resist, 100 to all other resistances, a passive provoker with evasion and guts, um, a way to do mirage, three, three nethocytes, etc. And you do that all eight times and then you go to the quest menu on the main menu, you claim all the materials and you upgrade the necklace to max rank. And that's how you do the budget run. Okay, hope it's been helpful. Um, either tomorrow or later tonight, I'll do some videos for like Sephiroth and stuff and etc. Uh, I did all the content in um, my live stream, which is why it's like a four hour live stream. You can watch it if you want to, but I'll, I'll, I'll have YouTube videos of individual content over the weekend as well. Okay, see you in a bit.